Paul Burnett here in London with the Vintage Chart Show in which we showcase a classic top 20 from the past. Today we go back to July 1987. The month former German SS officer Klaus Barbie was found guilty for his part in wartime atrocities, 42 years after the end of the Second World War. In Italy, sex star Ilona Stala was elected to the Italian Parliament, and in Russia, singles and album charts were introduced for the very first time. In the next half hour, we'll be playing in the top three and the best of the rest on the chart as it was seven years ago. And also, we'll be giving you the chance to win one of five copies of the Guinness Book of Hit Albums, giving you all the facts and figures about every album that has charted in the UK. So, have paper and pencil ready. All that's to come. But right now, let's start off with hit sound number 20, a record on its way down after getting to number 12, and the first hit single after 12 years of minor hits for Chris Rea. Let's dance! From the northeast of England, Chris Rear with Let's Dance. First taste of success came in 1975 when a band he was in, The Beautiful Lions, won a national talent contest. But way before that, he was in a local band called Magdalene. And uh, in that band with him was David Coverdale, who left to join Deep Purple and then left to join White Snake, who were at number 19 on the way down after getting to number nine with a song called, Is This Love? I'm 
of David Coverdale with White Snake. Hit sound 19, Is This Love? Right, north, south, east or west, we want to hear from you because I've got five copies of the Guinness Book of Hit Albums to give away. All the facts and figures about every album that's ever charted in the UK, you'll love it. All I want to know is, tell me which Michael Jackson album is the best-selling album of all time. Your answers, please, to me, Paul Burnett, at the Vintage Chart Show, BBC World Service, Bush House, London, okay? Paul Burnett, The Vintage Chart Show, BBC World Service, Bush House, London. Michael Jackson's biggest selling album, that's all I want to know. Here's John Farnham at number 17 with your The Voice. voice, John Farnham, with his only UK hit, originally from Dagenham in Essex. He shot to fame in Australia in 1968, and with such a success, he was voted Australia's King of Pop, five years on a row between 69 and 73. In the late 70s, the lead vocalist of the Little River Band. 
You're the voice. Down from number nine to number 17. And now, hit sound number 12. Down from number eight, Whitney Houston and I want to dance with somebody. And I want to hear from you too. Don't forget, five copies of the Guinness Book of Hit Albums. One of them could be yours. Answer this question. Just tell me which Michael Jackson album is the best-selling album of all time. The answers to me. Paul Burnett, The Vintage Chart Show, BBC World Service, Bush House, London. All right? Look forward to hearing from you. In fact, it'll be a thrill. Clock strikes midnight. Straight down after three weeks at number one. Whitney Houston and I Want to Dance with Somebody. Shouldn't have any trouble there. Her mother is Sissy Houston. Her cousin is Dionne Warwick. And she's married to singer Bobby Brown, surrounded by music at number nine. Up from 15, on its way to number three. The UK chart debut for Heart, a Vancouver band, and the song Alone.
our sisters Anne and Nancy Wilson. That was Heart at number nine with Alone at London. And now, just ahead of the top three, the countdown of seven years ago. At number 20, Chris Rear and Let's Dance. At 19 is This Love, White Snake. And Billy Idol with Sweet 16 was number 18. At 17, John Farnham with You're the Voice. At number 16, Misfit from Curiosity Killed the Cat. And at 15, Your Love Keeps Lifting Me Higher and Higher, Jackie Wilson. At 14, Jive Talking from Boogie Box High. At 13, A Little Boogie Woogie from Shaking Stevens. And at 12, I Want to Dance with Somebody, Whitney Houston. At number 11, My Pretty One from Cliff Richard. At number 10, Star Trekking from The Firm. And at number 9, Alone from Heart. At number 8, Sweetest Smile from Black and Melon Kim with FLM was number seven. At six, Aha with The Living Daylights. At five, Always from Atlantic Star. And number four, Wishing Well from Terence Trent Darby. And now, let's take a listen to the top three. It went on to be a number one for just one week. I'll tell you in a moment. She starred in a film of this name with Sir John Mills. Okay, of course it's Madonna. New entry at number three with Who's That Girl? When you see her, say a prayer and kiss your heart goodbye. She's trouble in a world, get closer to the fire. Run faster, her laughter burns you up inside. You're spinning round and round, you can't get off, you try, but you can. title from the film who's that girl madonna at number three at number two bruce willis who hitherto had been known as an actor in the series moonlighting suddenly decided to be a soul singer hey bruno hey what's up you hanging out down here with us under the boardwalk yeah, yeah, yeah man i got my lady down let's throw down oh when the sun beats down and melts the top up on the Streets get so hot, wish your tired feet were fireproof. From the sand you hear the happy sounds of the kerosene. Ooh, you can almost taste the hot dogs and French fries they sell. Under the 
One time hit for the Drifters, and with a lot of help there from the Temptations, that was Bruce Willis, and Under the Boardwalk hits our number two. Stop from being a number one record by this. Yes, the last of three weeks at number one for the Pet Shop Boys. One of 21 top 20 hits since 1985. It's a sin if you miss the Vintage Chart Show next week. I'm Paul Burnett. Join me when we count down the chart for July 1973. In the meantime, from all of us to all of you, have a good week. Bye-bye now.